Hello viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about uh, MATLAB implementation of fuzzy logic based MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thank you for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for further notification of uh, future videos. So let's start with the MATLAB implementation of fuzzy based MBPT algorithm. So this is the solar PV system. The system consists of uh, solar PV panel and then uh, boost converter. So this is uh, load section. Okay. So this is uh, for CMBPT algorithm, and this one is nothing but a PWM generator used for generating pulse for uh, IGBT. So just go inside that uh, fuzzy logic MBPT. In fuzzy logic MBPT, I'm going to measure a PV voltage, and it's going to be compared with the uh, some reference voltage. Here I'm fixed a reference voltage is that a. So why I'm I am fix, fixing that reference voltage is that a. So because so I want to show you. So here uh, we can see that I am going to vary the irradiation 1800 So for a different irradiation level, I am going to uh, measure the IUN PV cat 6. So after clicking that one, you will get this window. So in this window, you can see that uh, uh, the voltage of that uh, PV panel at the maximum power point. So this is the maximum power point for different cases. So for example, I am going to click this one. So voltage will be around 30.7. Here I am going to click. Here voltage around 30.668. Here 30.62, 30.41, and then 28.83, and then 27.88. So that's why I'm going to fix that uh, reference voltage in between these two, this will in between 27.8 to 30.7. So I'm going to consider reference voltage is 30. So at uh, voltage at 30, so we'll get the maximum power from the PV panel. So we are going to maintain that voltage across that PV panel around 30 volt in all operating condition in order to get the maximum power from the PV panel by using fuzzy logic system okay so for the reason only i am fixing the reference voltage is 30 here here i am going to compare that uh, pv voltage and the reference voltage so this is nothing but error and then uh, i am going to take uh, change in error by using this block so this is nothing but memory block and uh, I'm going to use uh, summing element in order to get uh, change in error. Okay, and then this changing error that means error and change in error is processed via fuzzy logic controller. So it's going to be provide duty cycle for that uh, PWM generator to generate the pulse. Okay, and uh, click this window. So in this window, you can see that uh, I'm going to load a fuzzy file. See here, I'm going to load FLC. So this FS file is used for creating a memory function for input and output. Okay. So in order to create or uh, not include that fuzzy, so just to go to go to type command window fuzzy. Okay. Just to go to type fuzzy. After typing fuzzy, it will be open uh, on window, nothing but the fuzzy logic designer. Okay, so here you can uh, uh, add a membership function and you can create uh, uh, different membership function inputs and 
we can create rule for that uh, input and output okay here you need a uh, two input so for that just to go to go to edit option and add variable so variable you are going to add in the input side that mean error and change of error so just to go to click input so we will get two inputs and one output so this input nothing but the error so then you can change to values e so second input nothing but it change in error and change in c and output nothing but to do check it so i am going to fix fix the name for that output will be d okay next you have to allocate that uh, mapis function for each input so for then just you click that uh, first input so after that you will get this window here you can edit that uh, mapis function so if you want to add mapis function just you go to click that first input and then go to edit and then click add mapis function so you can add the different kind of mapis function triangle trapezoidal well shaped mapis function gaussian so different kind of uh, mapis function available here so you can add so for example you, you want to add a, a triangular mapis function just to click this one and then how many mapis function you are going to add so that can be selected from here right so you can select one two three so as per your requirement you can select here i'm going to click two and then i'm going to click ok so after clicking that one it will be add to member function so this will we can be modified that means the triangle member function will can be modified here so i'm going to change that one for example 0 0.3 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 okay after changing that one you will see that variation okay so by the way we can easily change the points of that membership uh, function for all membership uh, function okay so likewise we can uh, do for that uh, change in error and do the cycle so how to add rule in that fuzzy logic uh, design so for that just you to click this one so after clicking this one you, you will get this rule editor window so you can fix the rule for that uh, your design okay here i am going to fix m of 1 m of 1 equal to m of 1 then you go to add rule so it will be added here and then m of 1 error is m of 1 error change in error is m of 2 the output will be m of 2 then after that just click add so you will get a rule right you will get different row so this is an example how to use a fuzzy logic uh, design tool in the matlab okay i will explain about that uh, fuzzy based mbpt control concept in the matlab so this is, this is just an example so after adding that uh, rules you can see the uh, rule surface so this is a rule surface for that uh, sample rule created right so this is variation of error and change of error and do decide okay and also you can see that rule in the rule viewer okay so by adjusting this value you can see the variation of the output okay if error is zero and change in error zero and the duty cycle zero point one three as per the rule is written inside that uh, rule editor okay so this is a uh, way of using fuzzy logic tool box in the matlab so next you have to see about the uh, rules created for a uh, mb mbpt logic so for that already i am created that uh, fuzzy rules and the uh, function for that uh, mbpt algorithm so this is the file flc dot dot fis okay so i'm going to open that uh, file so for that go to file import from file okay so just you to click that one and then click this one automatically it will open so this is a 
Fossil logic uh, design for the DMPPT algorithm. So error, change of error, and then output. So output can be considered as a duty cycle. So I'm going to click that one. Error, you will see that uh, error. So error is having five opposite function. NB, NS, Z, uh, PS, PB. Okay. So the range of uh, error will be minus one to one. And then uh, change of error, say same that of uh, error, it has five membership function in B, N, S, is that P, S, B, B, and the uh, range of that uh, change in error is in between minus one to one. Okay. Next, you can see that output. So, output also has uh, uh, five membership function, right? But in case of error, change of error. We are using only triangular membership function, but in output, we are using three triangular and two trapezoidal. So for Z and VB, so we used to trapezoidal, but for S, M and B, we are using triangular. Okay. So here also they are having five membership function. The range of duty cycle normally 0 to 1. Okay. The range from 0 to 0.3 is considered as. 0 so 0 0.1 to 0.5 consider small and 0 0.3 to 0.7 consider as medium 0.5 to 0.9 is considered as big 0.7 to 1 is considered as very big okay so this is a distribution of uh, error change of error and a duty cycle okay so next to process we are going to create rule for that uh, for cmbpt algorithm so already i created some rule for that uh, MBPT algorithm. So totally, I have I have created 25 rules because uh, you can see that uh, error having five membership function and the change of error having five membership function. Then you will get uh, 25 rules because five cross five equal to 25. Okay, so you will get 25 rules. You can create 25 rules. Okay, for example, you consider. Uh, uh, error is negative big and the change of error is negative big then output is going to be considered as zero so it, it will be in the region of zero okay so same way we can uh, I, I i created different rules for error is in b change of error is n s output will be uh, zero so that this so i created a different rules for a fossil logic in ppt okay so it can be viewed in form of surface okay see that so this is surface view okay you suppose change in error and uh, error in the range of negative right the duty cycle will be in the range of zero okay if error will in the range of uh, change in errors in the range of big to uh, positive big and uh, error in the range of big to positive big okay uh, then the rule will be that mean duty cycle will be in the region of very big right so this is variation of uh, duty cycle with respect to change in error and error okay so after that uh, creating this uh, membership function rules so then you need to load in the workspace this detail should be loaded into the workspace so for that go to export and uh, click to workspace and then click ok so this this will be loaded in the workspace so the uh, fossil logic design is loaded in the workspace so this efforts is going to be included in that uh, sibling model so this is fossil logic controller sibling block here you have to provide the fossil logic decision file name okay so after that you can simulate this uh, simulating model okay first i'm going to fix the load as constant okay load is considered by constant i'm going to <coughs> vary the irradiation from uh, 1000 watts per meter square 800 600 400 200 and then we can check the result of that uh, mbpt algorithm 
so first we have to see the maximum power point for the different condition okay here you can see that for 1000 the maximum power is 250 for 800 is um, 199 for 600 is 149 for 400 is 98.9 for 200 is 48.37 just to, go to uh, keep this value 250, 200, 150, 100, and then 50. Okay. Then I'm going to simulate that simulating model. compiling the model we can wait okay so this is a power window so this is variation of uh, power so initially the power is around uh, 175 watts okay but the condition is irradiation with the initial irradiation with 1000 watts per meter square so the maximum power extraction should be 250 right so during after that some seconds the facility is going to be working right so you can see the variation of that uh, output duty cycle okay now the duty cycle is around 0.664 so you can see that the maximum power extraction from the panel will be around 250 watts for the thousand watts per meter square so from 0 to 0.2 the radiation level is thousand watts per meter square after 0.2 the irradiation change from 1000 to 800 this 800 uh, the panel should be extract the maximum power, power around 200 watts okay so you can see the variation after 0.2 second here also you can see that the duty cycle now 0.647 okay here is the error change in error and uh, error value okay so this is variation of error and the change of error So after 0.2 second, the irradiation change from 800 to sorry 1000 to 800. So here you can see that the power level is around 200 watts per so 200 watts. Okay. So you can see that uh, duty cycle. So before the duty cycle is 0.64. Now we can see that duty cycle is around 0.6. So based upon that uh, operating condition, the duty cycle also so varying in the fossil logic system so after 0.4 second <coughs> the irradiation change from uh, 800 to 600 put 600 uh, panel should extract maximum power around 150 watts okay so we will see the changes in that uh, the panel after 0.4 second here the irradiation change from 800 to 600 so because of changing irradiation the power level change from PV panel is 150 okay here also you can see that the duty cycle change from 0.6 to 0.54 because of change in operating condition so and also you can see the variation of voltage and current also so you can see that so this variation of current PV current and the converter current so this is a variation of PV uh, voltage and the converter voltage based upon the operating condition change in irradiation condition so next after 0.6 second the irradiation change from 600 to 400 so already we see that uh, at uh, 400 watts per meter square the panel the maximum power will be 100 watts okay so near to 100 watts so you see the extraction of maximum power PV panel after 0 0.6, 0 0.6 second by using fuzzy MBPT algorithm
So now you can see that after change from 600 to 400, the P panel power is around uh, 100 watts. And here also you can see the duty cycle of that uh, system is 0 0.44. Okay. So from that you can see that for fixed load condition uh, and uh, change in irradiation condition, the uh, FRC BPT algorithm extracts the maximum power from the PE panel effectively. So next uh, we go to test the system with the variable loading condition. So for that I am going to uh, fix uh, irradiation as fixed. That means static manner. That means I am going to fix the irradiation will use 1000 watts per meter square <coughs> and I am going to vary the load for every 0.3 seconds and then we will check the response of that uh, for CMBPT algorithm so for 1000 watts per meter square and 25 degrees celsius the maximum power should be equal to 250 watts so the, that should be extracted from the PV panel because of a uh, uh, CMBPT the first CMBPT should extract the maximum power from the PV panel so initially the duty cycle is 0.1 because of error is minus 1 and change in error minus 0 0.02 after some time fuzzy logic going to be working here so now we can see that because of uh, fuzzy the duty cycle changed to point zero point five six seven. so because of change in duty cycle it extract the maximum power from the pv panel so you can see that the maximum power is 250 okay at uh, 1000 watts per meter square under 25 degrees celsius so after 0 0.3 second an extra load will be added in the system so we can check the variation of that uh, power variation due to change in load even though load going to be added in the system the power will, uh, power level level will be maintain at the maximum power because of fussy mbpt so whether we uh, we can check the working of that fussy mbpt whether it going to be work or not okay Wait for 0.3 seconds after 0.3 second load will be added in the system so you can see the variation okay yeah now you can see that the load is added in the system at the 0.3 second so because of in, uh, addition of load the power level goes down and then comes again to maximum level so here you can see the variation of the duty cycle because of increasing load right initially is around 0.5547 now you can see that the duty cycle is around 0.641 okay so even though the change in load condition uh, fussy based mbpt work well for the solar PV system so uh, fussy uh, mbpt algorithm works effectively for the uh, solar PV system Thank you. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for a future video. If you want this model and then you, you can download from that uh, website itps.net. So this is official website for that uh, LMS solution. Okay. So this is website for a uh, LMS solution. You can go to that uh, uh, download model of file. So from that you can uh, download the different MATLAB file for your applications. Thank you. Thank you once again.